Look at these blossoms. <sighs> Aren't they lovely? I like them. There's some more getting ready right there. Welcome to Frugal Family Gardens. I am Julie and we are doing a bit of gardening today. It is so muggy. Oh my goodness, we had like a, I don't know what it's even called, but it's not a cold front, but like whatever brings like a thunderstorm in, but not really any rain. So just like really heavy mugginess, which here in Utah, a desert state, uh, that's not generally <laughs> what, what we live with. Usually it's just dry and hot, hot and dry unless it's winter. So, um, and then throw in the occasional fire, not so occasional now. And so we also have a season called smoky, um, or, or a, a weather, a weather, um, designation. Smoky. Anyway, gonna get a little bit of gardening done. Not sure how much I can do. Uh, my hand is still all messed up, but I just, it's a little bit cooler today other than being muggy, but the actual temperature is down and I want to take advantage of it. Um, Kids don't have school. I will be roping them in to do several things for me out here and in the house. But you know, I gotta get out there. I gotta get out there. I'll be smart about it, I promise. But I gotta get out there to my plants. I ate a couple of strawberries. They were delicious. Mm -hmm. I'm also going to go out and pick more raspberries with the kids and uh, check on the grapes and the peaches and see kind of, well, just what's going on out there. I'm just sitting out here in the wonderland this morning for a moment. Gonna pull a couple of strawberries, strawberries. <laughs> oh, I already did that out front. Uh, gonna pull a couple of raspberries for a morning snack, harvest a little bit. There's definitely some more that we missed. If we're not out here every day, we are definitely missing some of these goodies, but realistically, uh, yeah, it's just not possible. Um, Olivia has, today and tomorrow left of summer school. So excited for that to be done. And then I can focus on getting out here earlier in the morning and having the whole morning to work out here. And hopefully that will uh, make a difference <laughs> in, in our productivity levels. Frugal gardening friends, I love Gorilla Tape. Have you ever tried Gorilla Tape? Not Gorilla Glue, I don't know about Gorilla Glue. But Gorilla Tape, it comes in so handy when you're trying to live the, the frugal life, the repurpose, reuse, recycle, etc. Make things keep going, repair them. Um, case in point. <sighs> Came out to set up my soaker hose for the lilacs and um, part of the soaker hose had broken. And so I was able to add Gorilla Tape. So now I'm testing it and it looks like I've, I've half fixed it but I've got to do just a little bit more it was like spraying up everywhere so I'm gonna add some more of my Gorilla Tape and uh, probably just a little further out because I don't need it right here anyhow um, yeah that's that's the plan I do eventually want to switch over to spot watering like a spot soaker where they have the little pokey things and you can put it at each section that you really need it and not just watering the weeds but that's just not um, something I am investing in at the moment so instead I am making these things that I've already invested in making them last as long as possible <laughs> 